What's up YouTube, KidMoto22 here, coming to you guys today with an install video. You can tell by my backdrop that I'm in my garage. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of a, a aesthetic install I guess today. It's not really functional, it doesn't serve really any purpose, for, but for me it's just kind of an aesthetic install. Um, if you've seen any of my Instagram posts, you'll see that I have uh, Kiryakin bag latch covers on uh, my 2017 Road King Special. And the reason why I put those on there is that I have removed all the reflectors off my bike and I didn't like the bags, the bag latch covers that had the reflectors in them. So I wanted to remove those from my bike and I found some um, latch covers that were black. So over the course of the last two seasons, I've ran those latch covers. I like them aesthetically, they look great. The only problem is, is that now they've gotten scratched up a little bit. There's a little bit of rust developing on a couple of them. And uh, you know, I was given an option of doing something different. So I'm gonna do that today. So what I've got for you today is these right here. And I'll try to get them in good view for you guys. And what these are, are these are carbon fiber latch inserts. And they're supposed to go right in here. So right where you have the reflectors at on your bike, that's where these are gonna go. So the latch, you, you will, I'll go ahead and remove the reflector from here and the latch inserts will go right inside there. Um, carbon fiber, kind of a cool looking design. Again, there's no functional reason for this, just a little bit of a, a aesthetic dress up. Um, I'm gonna go back to the stock. So these are the stock painted ones and I'll be removing the reflector that's in here and inserting the carbon fiber um, insert that goes inside to replace the reflector. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get to it. All right, let's get to work on the install. So we have the two carbon fiber inserts here and uh, we have the stock bag latches here and here. And then just some tools that I'm gonna use. So I have a set of picks that I'm gonna be using for this and um, some just regular blue painter's tape. And then I'll use a couple of clamps to, to um, stick onto here once I have the inserts on just to get that 3M tape to really adhere really well in the inside. So I'm just gonna put the painter's tape on here first. And uh, um, really all I'm trying to do is just protect the paint that's around here. And you'll see once I start uh, really working on um, getting these out, kind of what the, what the painter's tape is gonna be for. I don't really wanna mar up this paint as I'm trying to get, um, as I'm trying to get these out. So I'm gonna have to use the, the picks to kind of pry out, um, pry out these reflectors. And I'm fairly certain that if I didn't put anything on there to protect it, it's gonna, pretty easily scratch up um, the, the latches, the latch covers, and that would pretty much defeat the whole purpose of what I'm trying to do here, so. All right, there we go. So again, this is just on here um, for no other reason than just to kind of protect the paint. So I have that covered. And now I'm just gonna use a heat gun a little bit, and I'm gonna heat up this reflector, and I'm gonna try to start to um, get that to peel out of there. So let's get to work and see if we can get this to happen.
So there we go. I have it completely opened up and cleaned out. Um, that process of getting all the extra glue out of there um, is pretty laborious, but uh, that's why I didn't show you guys. I ended up, um, what I ended up using was um, a pick to get, you know, to kind of pick at most of the glue, kind of get the larger chunks out. Um, once I had uh, the rest of it just on the bottom, um, I poured some isopropyl alcohol in there and then essentially just used a little wooden stick and scraped it out. So um, that was kind of the process. It wasn't it wasn't all that much fun and certainly wasn't that much fun to watch. So that's why I didn't show you guys, but that's it um, with the reflector removed. So here is the reflector essentially intact with, you know, some of the sticky stuff still in the back. And now what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll put the insert in, clamp it down, let it get, let it get good and dry. And then uh, we'll uh, do the other one and do the install on the bike. So there we go. I did clean that out so the surface in here is clean and dry. I'm gonna just give it kind of one last wipe out here to get uh, any extra debris that might be in the bottom out of there. Then uh, this is just the 3M adhesive backing, so I'll remove that. So I just removed the 3M adhesive backing I made sure I had the right one and it's going the right direction. Drops in. That fits in nice and tight. I don't even know and I will see if the clamp, the clamp might not even reach to the inside of this. To clamp it down at all. Oh, it does a little bit, so I'll do that anyway. So um, I'm just gonna clamp this down and uh, that will just push it in here good and tight. And I'll do that on both ends here. Not required for the install, but I think it'll just give it a, um, it'll just push that in there nice and tight and get that 3M to really adhere nice, nicely on there. So there you go. Um, I have the first one clamped in and I'm gonna go ahead and work on the second one. And once we get them completed, then we'll go ahead and install them on the bike. And uh, that's what we got right there. That's what it looks like. So you can kind of see that carbon fiber. All right, and I'll put the next one in. So. To do this part of the install, um, we need to remove the uh, guide here. This is kind of what holds your saddlebag up. So I'm just using a torque screwdriver to do that. Be two screws there, and that just flips over. Put those right here on the inside of the saddlebag. There are three torque screws on here and that's essentially what all that holds the latch on. So we'll remove those. And if I remember right, it takes a little bit of effort to get this piece off. And you're gonna wanna hold your saddlebag lid up so it doesn't flop all the way over. And it looks like this side might come off a little bit easier than the other side did. And there we go. So that pops that right off. And we can go ahead and install the other one. All right, so I have the new one. And you can see the carbon fiber on there. And that 
just goes right into place, just like that. And since it is a stock part, it obviously fits absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna hold that on this side. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is just put a dab of blue Loctite in each one of these holes. And that's it for the install. Very, very easy. So let's take a look at a couple before and after pictures. And that's it, we're done. Well, there you have it. I hope you liked the install video I did for you guys today. That was a pretty simple install. Uh, doesn't take many parts or pieces or anything to put that, to do that install or put that together. Um, you know, just a few screws inside of the bag, take those off, put them on there. Um, as far as removing the latches, or, or as far as taking the reflectors out, you know, it's, it's uh, not hard, just a little bit of uh, labor and elbow grease to get those out. Heat gun obviously is gonna help you get those right out and using those picks kind of peels that right out of there for you. So that's about what I have for you guys today. I hope you like this install video. It's winter time here obviously, so I'm getting into my install series again. So I'll have a few installs coming up um, it'll be assorted with other things, my story time videos and some other things that I'll, that I'll be doing. So if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, I thank you guys for watching. This is Kid Moto. I'm out.